Hello there and welcome back. I'm Mrs. O here to support my parents, students, and teachers with everything math related, ed tech tips, and educational resources. Well, today teachers, this video is especially for you. I wanna share with you some of the latest updates and enhancements that Whiteboard Chat has made. Now, just about everything you can dream of has been added to this whiteboard. So today I wanna to focus on the updates and special features. If this is your first experience with Whiteboard Chat, I recommend you checking out these two videos first, where I explain the basics regarding setup, general use, and suggestions. In this video, we will explore some of the more advanced features. So let's check them out. In today's Whiteboard Feature Focus, we'll be taking a closer look at the Tile Factory. This is where you can make movable tiles so that students can create words, make a number sentence arranging tiles, and also use tiles to unscramble sentences. With the Tile Factory, you can also create flashcards so that students can practice their math facts or use flashcards to review vocabulary. And one of my favorite things to do in the Tile Factory is to make matching pairs. Students can match the problem with the answer and the neat thing about it is that when the correct matches are selected, they disappear. To create movable tiles, go to the toolbar, scroll down and select the wrench. It expands to reveal more options. Scroll down and select Tile Factory. Once that opens up, you have a space to enter in your words or numbers. Keep in mind to enter only one word or number per line. Once you've entered all of your numbers, and if you'd like to change the color of select words or numbers, separate it with a comma and indicate the color. Once done, scroll down, select students can move, and select fit the size. Scroll down and select create. Once created, shuffle the tiles so then that way students can rearrange them. Taking a look at it from a student's vantage point, here to the right, we can see that the tiles are mixed up and students can rearrange the tiles as they see fit. Now, let's take a look at it from the teacher's vantage point. Select grid view, and this is where you would go to monitor students' progress. And as you join the board, here you can see exactly how the student arranged the tiles. Pretty simple. Next, let's take a look at how to make flashcards. Flashcards are great for practice, review of facts, and or vocabulary words. To make them, simply go to the toolbar, select the wrench, scrolling down, tile factory. When making flashcards, type the word that you'd like to appear on the front and separate it with a semicolon for the word or definition on the back. You can do the same with numbers. You can type in an equation, type the answer for the back. You can even change the color by, again, separating it with a comma. Make that one red and one orange. Once done, you scroll down, you'll select Students Can Move, and select Make Cards. Create, and voila, here we have it. I guess they created an extra one for me. You can position the cards where you'd like them to appear. And now let's take a look at what it would look like from a student's vantage point. Here we have a side-by-side -side view with the student's view on the right. And students can simply click on the card to reveal the front and the back. And for the math problem, click on it to practice their math facts. Now that wasn't too bad, now was it? Creating flashcards is pretty simple. But next up is one of my favorites. Let's see if you agree with me. And if you like what you've seen so far, don't forget to click that like button. Now let's check out how to make matching cards. To make matching cards, go to the toolbar on the left, select the wrench, scroll down, select Tile Factory, and then enter your information, ensuring to separate your answer and match using a semicolon. Once that's done, select Move, and make matching cards, and there we have it. And not to forget, make sure to mix up the cards so that the problem and answers are not side by side. Here's a side by side view with the students board on the right. And notice how as you click correct matches, they disappear. And here to the left, we have the teacher's grid view open. 
where students' boards can be monitored. Teachers can join a student's board for a closer look and can see a student's actions in real time. Sometimes there are a few seconds delay, but you get the point. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed learning about just one of the many updates that Whiteboard Chat has made. I'm interested in finding out how it works out for you, so make sure to comment down below. Tune in next week as we explore another cool feature of Whiteboard Chat. So until next time, take care.